Hello Virgo and welcome to my channel. I'm Maria Guyon. I'm an intuitive business success coach, a tarot card reader and a green witch. Bit of a weird combo I know. I'm here to do your business reading for the 23rd to the 29th of August. And we start with Buffalo Spirit. The abundant universe will provide. You feeling a little bit insecure there where money's concerned, Virgo? Are you having a bit of a rough time? Buffalo Spirit is here to remind you that the universe will provide there is always enough money there is always enough of everything have faith don't focus on the lack because what you focus on you will get more of focus on prosperity and believe in the universe i speak from experience here i have had oh so many bad times i've had times where i have had literally nothing i lost my home and my business back in 2013 i lost everything I was living in emergency housing, I was relying on food banks to feed my children, and I was at rock bottom. But I never gave up hope that things would turn around, and things did turn around. And quite often, I, I kind of, I've learned over the years that spirit always has my back on things, and even when things seem desperate, something will pop up and, and save me at the last minute. I used to think it was coincidence years ago, now I know it's not. So now what I do is I take everything day by day and say I have a giant bill that I know is coming in in four weeks or something and I think oh I might not have the money to pay that I just I don't worry about it I just think I'll do what I need to deal with today and it's amazing how there'll be windfall somewhere or I'll sell something that I didn't think I would sell or you know four or five people come along and buy something all at once and miraculously there's the money to pay whatever it is I need to pay for so I just want to tell you that because that is available to everybody. I'm not magical. <laughs> I know I'm clairaudient and intuitive and an empath, but I'm not magical. And it's just this faith and belief that the universe will provide for me that keeps me going sometimes. And I want you to have that faith this week, Virgo. If things are feeling a little bit ropey, if things are feeling, you know, making you feel a bit down, if you're struggling for money, don't give up. Please don't give up. Just focus on getting through each day and making what you can as you go along and just have faith that spirit will respond and give you what you need we've got the queen of crystals comfort and prosperity what am i telling you <laughs> it feels like things are going to change for you and then we've got the six of crystals synergy and gratitude i was wondering initially because abundance can be in a lot of things it can be an abundance of friends it can be an abundance of food, it can be an abundance of love, and it can be an abundance of money. This reading now is, is leading me to think that it is definitely material things that you're going to get this abundance in. And we finish with the King of Acorns, which I've just done that for somebody else. I think it might have been Cancer. Love this card. It's one of my favourite cards to get out in a business reading. He is such a star. He is full of optimism, innovation. He's full of ideas. He's a leader. He's a visionary. He's charismatic. He's a very entrepreneurial card. And he's very suited to these readings that I do for business people. So looking at this overall, I get the feeling that you've been struggling and there's going to be a breakthrough. I think you just need to put your faith in the universe seriously that the universe will provide because things are going to turn here you've got the queen of crystals who is all about comfort and prosperity she's about nurturing she is about contributing to the family this lady and i feel like you need you need to succeed for the security and comfort of your family and maybe you've been struggling thus far but i feel there's going to be a breakthrough this queen of crystals is saying that there is going to be a, a breakthrough here you're going to feel a lot more calm and grounded and again i feel like this could be to do with this message really telling you to stay calm and grounded and, and relax and let the universe provide that's not to say just lay in bed all day and go well i'm just gonna lay here because the universe will provide you still need to take action in your business but i think something's gonna turn something's going to turn and if you've been struggling to make money i think it's going to change the six of crystals is about generosity it's about gratitude kindness abundance accomplishment and give and take i think you're going to have a lot to feel grateful for i would like to say that this is about you giving but i'm not so sure it is not to the public at large i feel like the the giving the generosity is going to be you being able to give your family what they need 
Spirit says have an attitude of gratitude this week and the attitude of gratitude will actually help the abundant universe to provide it to be fair because what we focus on we get more of so if you're grateful for what you have and you change your attitude from an attitude of lack of fear of thinking that there's never going to be enough that you're never going to get out of any financial hole that you're in then all you'll do is attract that sort of negative energy back to you i want you to work really hard this week virgo on a positive attitude a real positive mental attitude because that change in attitude will create a shift for you and suddenly you'll start to see the opportunities to gain prosperity you will start opening up you'll attract people somebody think about it you know if there's two people and one of them is down in the dumps and they're going oh you know this is terrible my life is terrible i have no money no i don't get any clients and i don't really understand why and i'm not selling enough and i'm really struggling and i'm so fed up the other person is happy and smiling confident that spirit's going to come through that the universe will provide for them they go forth expecting to get new clients expecting to sell more things there's just a difference in the energy isn't there between those kinds of people and you think about the energy that you put out is what is drawn to you so you're not going to get clients or customers or people buying if they sense that real sad desperate negative energy around you however if they feel this energy is is lifted if your vibration is really positive and energetic and you're saying well i may not have had loads of clients so far this week i may not have sold everything that i wanted to sell so far but i'm going to go out and look for my opportunities i'm going to change that today's going to be a real good day that draws people to you like this guy the charisma the, the energy will draw people in so make that mindset shift this week virgo is what the message is you must believe believe that the universe will provide and go out there with that optimism that things are going to change and it will change so i'm going to leave that there virgo have a great week if you appreciate me making these messages for you then please do like subscribe and share them with anybody that you think might find them useful let me know in the comments what you'd like me to use my magic wand for <laughs> no rude answers please <laughs> If there's something you're struggling with in your business, what would you like me to do with my magic wand if I could wave it and fix the initial problem? What would that problem be? Would it be more clients, more money? Would it be less perfectionism? Would it be more confidence, more self-esteem? What would you want me to do with my magic wand to help you change your business and transform it going forward? Let me know in the comments. And finally, I was going to open the Firefly Circle in September. What is the Firefly Circle? The Firefly Circle is a community. And I wanted it to be for women who want to light up the world through their business. This is a community for women that want to do something big in their business that actually changes the world. That actually helps us heal the planet, heal the people that are on it. So if you're a coach, a therapist, a mediator, a guide, a medium, whatever it is that you do, if you are wanting to do this to make change on, on a big scale, Please do join the Firefly Circle. I've got an ant here. What does ant mean in animal messages? He's alone as well. It's not very often you see a soul ant, is it? They're normally in groups. Yeah, I'll look that up. Yes, anyway. <laughs> I was going to do it in September. And then I initially claimed the Mighty Network. Because it will be like a Facebook group. But it's going to be on Mighty Networks. And somebody requested to join before I'd even got finished writing past the description of what the group was going to be. And I went, ah! not ready and spirit said you have to start before you're ready because this is needed one firefly on its own can make a little bit of a glow but imagine a thousand fireflies together imagine what we can do if we all get together to support each other to inspire each other to motivate each other to brainstorm our problems to maybe create some joint ventures to really push forward what we're doing so that we can create a community of women that make a massive difference on the planet. Now, if your business is not about healing and coaching and helping, you can still join. If you're wanting to use your profits to benefit the planet somehow, if you're wanting to give back in some way, and there are lots of ways you can do that. Maybe you're looking for ways to do that and you're not sure how to go about it, how to make your business very socially conscious that group is also for you 
It could also be for you if you're a community interest company, if you are a non-profit, but I just feel like there is strength in numbers and this community is something that is quite needed at the moment. We need to lift ourselves out of this yuck that the planet is in at the moment. We need to make a difference. So I'm going to leave that there now, Virgo. Thank you for listening. Thank you for keeping me company today. I hope you enjoyed this reading as much as I enjoyed making it. I'm going now. I'm going to go and have a nice cup of tea. <laughs> With love and magic always, this is Maria Guyan signing out. See you next time, Virgo.